This one looks like it's gonna be good. The one with the stairs. Spooky stairs. Here we go, here we go. Alright, perfect. Let's freaking do it! Number seven. Haunted High School. Haunted Exploring High School? creepy ass places at stupid o'clock all by yourself is all fun and games. Until it isn't. That's what YouTuber CJ Long Crow's vlog learnt the hard way when he decided to go full on Rambo into an old abandoned high school that even the bravest hearts would think twice about entering. Having visited with two guys earlier, he returned alone to satisfy his curiosity and intuition that he would find something worth uploading on the premises. After exploring every single room, he couldn't catch much other than a few bats and some strange bangs. But as he'd expect at that ungodly hour, the place was completely empty, not a soul in sight. Or so he thought. Because when he was about to leave, thoroughly disappointed, he came face to face with a terrifying sight that left him trembling like a leaf. Ooh, let's look. see what it is! I'm hoping it's something really good! I mean, just look at this building. There was someone up there. That left him trembling like a leaf. Take a look. I'm gonna be honest with you though, uh, I understand that you said that he went there with some friends and then later on came back by himself. I don't believe that for a second. I mean, just look at this building. Is that someone up there? Like right there, just sort of watching him? Yeah. Oh, fuck. fuck. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 bro. At first, he stops <laughs> Okay, I kind of want to believe it now, <laughs> just because his his that was a, a pretty human response. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Looks like a shadowy figure, but as he pans the camera up and down to be absolutely sure, the figure. Yeah, why? See, here's my question: Why did he have to pan the camera up and down to be sure? There's no reason for that. It's not. It's not his eyeballs. He, he doesn't. You don't have to like look away and then look back to make sure it's like the real you actually saw correctly. You could just keep the camera on the thing. Only bolts across the window. But who or what could the figure of? It's that kind of that a camera movement that makes me believe that it's not true. And, paint and if you want, if you want, if you wanna, if you want like evidence of this, just look up any footage of anybody recording anything, like at all in real life, and you'll just see that this is not the way that people record things. The Crow Creek Tribal High School is an yeah. abandoned school in South Dakota. First, its gymnasium was sealed off for over a year after being Why? deemed unsafe for students. Then, okay. as if fate had a twisted sense of humor, was it like riding away? Was the ceiling part of the falling? School was mysteriously gutted by fire and eventually shut down following reports of inadequate funding, among other reasons. Yeah, that sounds but about right for America. Even before its long overdue closure, it was rumored that staff and other local workers would see spirits and entities roaming the premises after hours. Students also claimed that they experienced crazy paranormal things while living in the dorms. Yeah, now, every, every student said the same thing about my middle school, my high school, and my elementary school. Now, years after its closure, paranormal investigators still every go single school in America has a ghost. Contact with the that's just that's just a known fact. To live there, just like CJ, who had spent most of the night looking for any sort of paranormal activity to thrill his followers, but it was only when he ventured alone that he saw this mysterious figure move by the window. Even before he could set a foot there. In a mix of excitement and terror, he heads back to get his buddy so they can figure out who the hell is on the top floor. But when they both returned, the place was completely empty. Am I doing this? Okay, but... Using my logic... He heads back to get his buddy so they can figure out who the hell is on the top floor. There's probably somebody else just like you trying to explore, just like you, or a homeless person. Using the place as a hideout, or like as a house, and if you start sh shining your flashlight on the the, the floor that they're at, I, if I was up there doing some urban exploration, yeah, I would assume that it's the police. I would assume the police are about to enter the building, and I'm gonna run. I'm gonna get out of there. Top floor, but when they both returned, the place was completely empty. Alright, relax, you're overselling it. Like earlier it was fun. It was fun. But now this is, uh, don't want to be honest. Bro, oh my god. 
That's just me, though. I have, I have to make humor out of things. Well, was that there? Yeah, that was there. Okay, guys. This, so this is exactly. This is exactly. Bro, where could I have gone though? Really? It's exactly where the fuck I saw it. Why? Again, why is your camera so freaking zoomed in? I don't want to see inside. Like, look at this. Why is your camera so freaking far zoomed in? You don't need to do this. Look at how zoomed in his camera is. Custodian closet. Yeah, maybe yeah. you you literally like look at this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you could just you could just stand back a little bit and show the entire room. It's one little closet. This is how I know it's fake. Maybe an old custodian. Maybe they have it very zoomed in. They're trying way too hard to keep the camera looking like it's Cloverfield. Like, like look, I'm just I, I'm sorry, but this is this is just this is like peak annoying me. This is what a normal camera it looks like. Walking around a freaking building. Okay. You see how you can see the door the entire doorway? You see how you can see the entire hallway? You see how everything's in a nice like not even a night a good a decent resolution. You could clearly see the entire hallway. Oh. Like why is your camera like zoomed in 70 times Fuck, bro. unless you were trying to purposefully fake a video so you don't want people to be able to see as like you want people to see as little as possible dude there's a fucking bird down there oh it's a bat oh god it's a bat get the get the get the like, yes, run. As you all know, bats are incredibly dangerous. They're actually human hunters, and they will absolutely do nothing to you because they're bats, and they're blind, and they can't see you. <laughs> a it's a freaking bat, dude. Well, it's not that scary. Don't hit the bed just yet. If you end up late tomorrow, just... I pause my ghost videos to be here. I love that. New <laughs> tea and dodge that awkward boss But I'm still what? Oh, God. There's a bat. Hey, where are you going? Don't but I'm still thinking bed, about it. Facts. If you end up late tomorrow, just point at your new tea and dodge that awkward boss chat in the morning. Grab yours from the first link in the description and stick around for more ghosty wasties. Number 6. Creepy Intruder On a Saturday night, just before midnight, while staying up watching their favourite show, things started to feel off. These people felt an unease in the air, as though someone or something had slipped into the house. As the tension grew, they turned to the CCTV, hoping to put their mind at ease. But whatever they found was beyond anything they could have imagined. Take a look. Was that a little kid going up the stairs? Is that there? Is that real? Is that the person? Or did, was that not supposed to be there? As they cozied up on the couch, the security camera captured a mystery figure going up the stairs. Okay, I figured! Figure, according to them, everyone was in the living room at the time, and they all left together. So who the hell did the camera catch going upstairs? It looks like What's a little even kid! What's more chilling is that the figure appears to be transparent with no visible lower body. This looked like a straight up ghost silhouette caught right on camera. What do you make of this short but creepy clip? A real ghost it's pretty sighting, intense. a camera glitch, or is there something that the family isn't telling us? Well, unless they have kids, that's kind of creepy, actually. I would be terrified if I freaking saw that on my freaking... Having to deal with ghosts and malevolent like spirits camera. on land is enough to make anybody reach for a pair of spare pants. But it's a whole other level of spookiness when paranormal activities happen in water. A public pool this time specifically. This government built public pool is in the community centre of the town to encourage more participation in swimming. And it didn't take long for parents to bring their kids down to the amazing facility with the hopes of training up the next Olympic star. However, that thrill and excitement turned into sheer horror and paranoia as the kids began dreading the very thought of the pool. As they claimed to be able to see pale, ghostly faces staring at them from beneath the water only to vanish the moment they raised their heads. Also, the locker rooms and shower area were apparently brimming with the sounds of disembodied voices and children running around and laughing, and yet there was nobody there. 
While the reasons behind the hauntings remain foggy, the kids say that they knew what they saw, and before long the pool was closed down following the many terrifying reports. Yet it is believed that the evil still lurked in the shadows of the facility, with hair-raising sights and chilling temperatures becoming the new norm. YouTuber Exploration a Limite con Paco Medrano geared up to explore this abandoned pool with plans of capturing something on camera. But let's just say that things didn't exactly go according to plan. Okay, but they're hunting ghosts. <laughs> if things don't go according to plan, then are we going to see no ghosts? Because <laughs> I thought the plan was to find ghosts. Okay, I don't know who translated it, but he did not say where, uh, where is the, he, he, the translation says, where is the vehicle? Now, he's not asking context. You have to, you have to think about context uh, as well. He's saying that the noise came from outside where the vehicle is. If you, if you speak Spanish, you understand. Yeah, they're saying they heard something very loud fall. It sounded like something dropped. Some minutes after midnight, they began to sense an eerie presence nearby, until suddenly they heard what sounded like footsteps from a distance. Probably not wanting to give in to their fears, they convinced themselves it must have been some kind of noise from outside, so they decided to shut the door behind them to block it out. Okay, understandable, because uh, maybe she doesn't speak Spanish. No, they, they went outside, from the sound of it, they the, they may not have even realized the footsteps. They are going outside to see if there's anybody out there, because they heard what sounded like potentially gunshots. But boy, did that or turn something out to that be a big, very loudly. big mistake. Take a look. And the reason I bring this up is because it's way different if these dudes are saying, I think I hear a ghost, and then they go and look. Or if it's like, uh, what the frick? Something just made a loud noise. Let's go see what it is. And then something spooky happens. It just, I don't know. To me, it feels like one feels like they're faking it. Another one feels like, uh, here you go, baby. Oh, yeah. One feels like they're faking it. One feels like they're genuinely just trying to see what the noise was. You get me? Like, there's just, there's just more to it. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Give him a little treat. I got my doggos here. I'm not going to get scared. As they turned to continue investigating, someone or something mysteriously cracks the door open. I mean, I don't know, it's freaking broken to begin with. But you can see he's struggling to get it closed because it's freaking broken. It doesn't lock. It's like off the top hinge. Yeah, look, it's <laughs> it's like busted. I think it just swung open, bruh. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a busted freaking door. The busted door did not remain closed. What do you mean? As they turned to continue investigating, someone or something mysteriously cracks the door open, leaving them in utter disbelief. They knew there was absolutely no way it could have been done by a person, as the place is completely isolated. And who in their right mind would turn up to such a place at that ungodly an hour? 
aside from them. Did you also notice how his skin was covered in goose pimples like a Thanksgiving turkey? We can also <laughs> see how firmly he closed the door, and there still appeared to be a force that was strong enough to open it. Well, it wouldn't be out of place to assume that the door was opened by a really strong wind. We thought that too, until we saw- I wouldn't say a really strong wind, I would just say it naturally swung open by virtue of the fact that it's freaking broken. One of their eagle-eyed viewers spotted right after the door opened. Oh, look at that! That's a shadow figure! Okay, now, the logical human being would keep the flashlight on this figure as you slowly, but cautiously, and quickly, approach. Nope. Oh, keep, nope, keep it, keep it on the, keep it on the ghost. Keep, nope. Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you do that? Keep, keep it on the ghost! Why are you moving the flashlight? It's right there! I. Well, I guess they didn't notice it. What looks to be a pure black shadow person seems to be watching them from the darkness, but when the camera pans in that direction again, it's gone. They never noticed the figure until after they'd uploaded. Alright, they, they didn't notice it, but. The video they also didn't channel. remove. They didn't move the camera. All of these events together, out of the frame. Commenters believe that the pool. So is that one is very creepy, actually. Still. Unless whoever that was over there, like, ran into the freaking dark hallway. Paranormal hotspot and home to the true terror that haunts the dreams of the. That last one was good. Been that there. shadow but creature was a freaking on dope one. one. Real paranormal. That one. Activity. Everything else is meh. The door is meh. That that one. Okay. Or did we I... miss something? Let us know. Nah, cause he, he very, like, he only slightly moves the, the flashlight away and then moves it back in, like, on top of it. So unless whatever it was, like, freaking sprinted into the hallway, I don't see how oh, the freaking would disappear like that. Woman. That one was good. I like that one a lot, it's actually. That one, that one got saved with that last little bit. I like that one a lot. It was uploaded on the YouTube channel Paranormal sorry, baby, Globe, you and it was recorded you deep in the woods of Cordoba, Colombia, by a group of friends who stumbled upon a mysterious figure. Coincidentally, these local residents have long spoken of a strange figure that's tormented the little kids in the area. So seeing the uncanny resemblance that this entity had to the one rumoured to haunt their village, they whipped out their phone to have it on camera. And this is what they caught. The hell's on top of a tree? Why? The figure appears to be that from the scary ass ancient folklore La Llorona, the weeping yeah. woman. And the boys believe that this is the ghost that's been haunting their village, and they just might have discovered her resting place during the day. In fairness to them, the figure does dead ass look like a woman covered in blood. Right? A very accurate description of the La Llorona. However, Actually, some folks believe that they probably saw a bird, or perhaps it was a branch from a nearby tree. There is no freaking way. There is no freaking way that is a freaking bird or a branch from a tree. That is stupid to even insinuate. That is full blown a human being. Now, whether it's La Llorona, like an actual ghost, is a, is up for question. That could be a human being just standing up there for no freaking reason. Like, wow, the why you freaking you up there? And she's like, hey, hello, I'm cl I climbed this tree. <laughs> it does dead ass look like a woman covered in a veil? A very accurate description of the La Llorona. However, some folks believe that they probably saw a bird. Or perhaps it was a branch from a nearby tree. But what do you think? Were they paranoid to think they'd spotted a ghost? It's or either a ghost or a person. There, there's nothing else it could be. I think that Actually, they were lucky look. to even have made it back alive. Number three, prank gone wrong. 
On a cold Tuesday morning, these dudes couldn't think of anything better to do than to mess with an old man who lives alone in the nearby neighbourhood. The old man would get constantly harassed by these boys because of his looks and often strange behaviour. On this occasion, they went with their camera in hand to film their latest prank on the poor old man. Little did they know that they were about to uncover a deep, dark secret. This is the footage they recorded. The freak, so they just... What a bunch of douches! They're just pranking this dude? Poor old man. Fuck, it's cold. Come on, come on, come on. Merry Christmas. <laughs> They set the paper bag, probably full of poop, on fire. <laughs> shit, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, shit! Okay, okay, okay! They set a paper bag on fire right on his front door, knocking to draw his attention to the mini bonfire situation. And while it's unclear what they'd hoped to achieve with these pranks, it's safe- Well, dude, they put poop inside of the paper bag, so that when he stomps out the fire, there's just poop on his shoe. I have to say that the old man didn't like it very much as he chased them across the road. After escaping the fury of the old timer by the skin of their teeth, naturally they decided to return the next day for a rerun of their prank. However, they didn't know that the old man was ready for them this time and had a few tricks up his sleeves as well tricks that would prove costly, especially for the boys. Take a look. You're going to get this old man again. Last time we almost gave him a heart attack, he ran all across the street, so he was another shit bag. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, what? Oh my God. I mean, I get that the music is creepy. I don't know what I'm supposed to be staring at. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. What are we doing? Gonna... And he drags him inside! Get out, get out. Nonsense! This has to be freaking filled. What the freak? Your friend starts getting dragged into the random man's house, and so you just sit there and watch? Yeah, this is totally how I would react if my friend was just dragged into a crazy man's house. Like, you don't think your friend would have done something? What? Snap. Done. 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 Who quite strangely managed to get a serious beat down from the old man. They ran I mean, he didn't really get beat house. down. He kind of just laid down. Trying to rescue their friend who quite strangely managed to get. It, it, like, like, look at, look at this guy's struggle. Like, look at real life struggling here. Old old man puts one hand on him. Managed to get old old man puts one hand on him, and then Tell the guy falls to the ground, the just unconscious. Man. They run around to the back of the house, only to get knocked out cold by this shovel wielding grandpa. The yeah, yeah, obviously the grandpa knocked them both out with one swing. Clip sparked quite a reaction on the internet. <laughs> what happened next? Did you guys live? <laughs> People were mainly stunned to see an elderly man overpower three young boys without getting so much as a scratch himself. While many were just in awe of the old man, some were quite quick to point out that he could have so easily been a retired hitman or a secret agent like those ones in the movies. 
And since nobody actually knows his background, their theory might hold water. We can only hope that those boys got a second chance. Number two, haunted. I don't know. It seems pretty convenient. Like as soon as the, ham the as soon as the the shovel hit him in the head, the camera for some reason decided to glitch out. That's weird. Isn't it strange how 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 the the shovel hits the person in the head and knocks them out, but for some reason the camera also gets knocked out? It's weird. It's really weird. I didn't, I didn't realize the cameras had consciousness. I didn't realize they could fall asleep. From Burr. This You'd think the camera would stay on the entire time, guys. but nah. It came with as soon as the cameraman loses consciousness, so does the camera. ...context as well, making it all the more unsettling. The footage appears to be taken from the couple's bedroom. The wife seems to have woken up from strange noises coming from the living room. Not wanting to wake her husband, for god knows why, she instead arms herself with a phone to Bro, go- Bro, this video's fake. There's no such thing as a woman not wanting to wake up their husband in the middle of the night for something spooky. This is already fake, this is fake as it gets. ...see what it could have been. And what she captured was a paranormal cocktail that will leave you gasping. I heard a noise in the middle of the night, so instead of waking up my husband, I decided to record it for TikTok. Because, yeah, that, that's, that's what humans do. Oh, good. And it's like 240p footage as well. Awesome. Oh, that gave me goosebumps! That actually freaking gave me goosebumps! Oh, that was good! As she rises from the bed, she turns towards the living room and spots something ghostly right by the door before it pounces and knocks her to the ground. While the clip might come off as being too good to be true, given how fully f Oh but no! It's not that it's too good to be true. It's, right by the door. it's the it's 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 the fact that they the the they edited it really badly. So check it out. This is how you know it's CGI. Yeah, let's break it down, baby. As she rises from the bed, she turns towards the living room and spots something. She spots something, uh, which is a blurred out figure with a head and body. But because the animator is about to animate the picture, because uh, this is just a still image, right by the door before you can see right there. Boop, 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 boop. Her body clips out of existence. See that? So you can see the animator like basically keyframed it because he didn't want to animate the entire body moving forward. He just wanted to animate the face uh, doing the jump scare to the camera. So instead of actually genuinely animating the entire thing you just want to make the body disappear and, and and that way you don't have to animate all of it you could just sort of like boop 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 and then just the head goes forward instead because you know who wants to animate an entire body uh. Clear lips, no more lips. And you can see right here is basically the moment where he deletes. Isn't it weird how... <laughs> it's freaking wild. Good editing though. Really good editing. They got me. That gave me the chills. That actually While made my spine tingle. Might come off as being too good to be true, given how fully formed the apparition was. Let's no, not be too quick to put this down as a fake video. No, it's not that it's not too good to be true. It's just very obviously a bad edit or a bad CGI render there. Because what if she had encountered something sinister that night? She didn't. We can't say for sure why she was attacked by a malevolent spirit. It wasn't malevolent. There's always a possibility that something genuinely sinister was caught on camera that day. But what do you think? Yeah, what something sinister was caught on camera. It's called a lie. Real ghost sighting? Or another great piece of spooky entertainment? Just Let another good piece comments. of spooky entertainment. I liked it. It was really good. Number one. 
whispers in the They back. did better than the last dude, because look, the camera actually like stayed on think? after being Real attacked. Sighting? Or another great piece of spooky entertainment? Let us know in the comments. See, it's not like the dude with the old man. When the old man knocked him out with a shovel, his camera also got knocked out. Number one, whispers in the dark. Keanu, known on Reddit as Keanu Kiala, uploaded this terrifying video that's been giving everybody chills. After putting his little daughter to bed, he headed out to the back garden to take care of a few things. But not long after, he received an alert on his phone about movement in the baby's room. Thinking that his little princess had just woken up, he quickly pulled out his phone to check the camera feed. But what he saw on his screen left him both puzzled and terrified. Here's what he caught. I love it. Look at the let me move this. Look at the little this little baby just sort of chilling like, "Hey, what's up, pops?" Yeah, that's right. I woke you up. What do you do? Hope you're having a good one. What are we having for breakfast? Why is this bed so massive for a baby? Oh, the ghost is playing with the baby's hair. Hey, you leave that baby alone, ghost. I didn't hear anything. Well, I mean, unless it's static charge, the baby's hair is getting messed with. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. Just a little girl who woke up right after her dad left the room. The weird voices could absolutely be just the parents outside talking, like outside the room. Right. But the, the hair seems to be very details. creepy. For starters, yeah. the camera seems to have caught whispers or someone blowing air on her. We can clearly hear the heavy breath here. And the most chilling part about this sound is how she reacts afterwards. It's kind of like the fight or flight reaction most babies get when you blow a hair on their faces. Did you also yeah. notice how a chunk of her hair dangled like someone was playing with it? It yeah. was very consistently like being played with. That's this one. See, this is like a fully decent resolution, no cuts, no weird like no no like weird edits. It's just a nice footage nonstop. Keanu swore that everybody else was asleep and nobody could have been in that room at that time, as we can clearly see on camera. Okay, let's say the hair moving was caused by the ceiling fan which Keanu claimed was on there, but then how do you explain the other sounds? Mere baby noises, her breath, hell, a gush of wind from the window? The windows were shut, and the room was pretty much isolated from all of the others, so we can strike out those possibilities. And also, Why did you leave your bed on like a- Loads of mystery. One thing's for Wait, sure. this is where you sure. let your Nobody baby sleep? This is like a this is like a king like a queen size bed or something. Like nah, what do you mean? There's like a full size bed. To experience that nightmare alongside their kids. This can't be where you put your kid to sleep. I wouldn't freaking I wouldn't put him here. I put him inside of their like cradle. What the frick? There's a baby. What you doing? That last one was good. That last one was good. The one before with the head, the floating head, freaking creepy dude, that got me. That genuinely freaking made my spine tingle from how freaking creepy and creepy it was. Thanks for hanging out. Like or dislike, comment and subscribe and become a monodachi today. I live stream all day, Monday through Friday, so go say hi. That's all for now, monos. Goodbye and thanks for swinging by. Salud.